A flag folding ceremony is usually performed for members of the military entering retirement. The ceremony itself is a learning experience, teaching why the colors are used, explaining the significance of the stars and stripes, and telling the history of Old Glory. The flag folding ceremony is also an opportunity to thank our Creator for establishing and preserving this great nation with a desire to be pleasing to Him, saying, quote, Let us pray that God will reflect with admiration the willingness of one nation in her attempts to rid the world of tyranny, oppression, and misery, unquote. In 2005, the Pentagon changed the contents of the official flag folding ceremony, removing all references to God. Most American military personnel do not like the changes, and those retiring prefer the old speech. Senior Master Sergeant Oscar Rodriguez specializes in performing the flag folding ceremony. He himself is retired, a veteran of 33 years of service to his nation. Rodriguez was sought after to perform the ceremony for Master Sergeant Charles Robertson, who was retiring from active duty. These four represent one individual state, and together they stand united, indivisible. The stripes represent the original 13 colonies that declared their independence from Great Britain in 17... That was Rodriguez, a 33-year veteran of the Armed Forces of the United States of America, being physically and forcefully removed from the podium during the ceremony and then escorted off the base for mentioning God in his speech. It seems Lieutenant Colonel Michael Savitsky, who is the commander of Robertson's squadron at Travis Air Force Base, was informed that Rodriguez would give the traditional speech mentioning God. He tried to prevent it and is more likely directly responsible for the mistreatment of Rodriguez. Now first, Liberty Institute lawyers are siding with Rodriguez and representing him for free. Among other things, they're demanding a formal apology to Rodriguez and disciplinary action against everyone involved. Just a grim reminder, folks, of where our country is headed. An overwhelming majority of Americans believe in God, but those who do not are adamant and militant about preventing any mention of him, even to the shameful dishonoring of an American veteran. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at TheRayWarnerShow.com.